Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, I'm back with another YouTube take a video where I'm going to talk about a new feature about Flutter. As you have seen that um, now Flutter is getting much mature and we are getting new features. And today I'm going to talk about the latest Flutter feature that is coming to to the ecosystem. So as you know that um, the iOS 14, um, iOS 14 is available and it has brought a lot of features. So Flutter also took the opportunity to introduce new feature that uh, was also introduced in uh, iOS 14, such as um, app creep. So as you see, this article says that um, you know, the iOS 14 has it raised with the, that new feature where a user can use the app the, or part of the application without entirely installing the app. This can be maybe through your website, through the QR code, and so on. So now with Flutter 1.22, um, now it's possible to support that new feature that has been introduced in in Frata uh, 1.2.22, uh, which is now stable version on, on Frata. So, but let me tell you a what is about uh, introduction of what is an app creeps. So, uh, as they say from the Apple website, as you see here, uh, you know, app creeps are a great way for users to quickly access and experience what you, you have your application has to offer without installing, of course, the entire application. So the app creep is a small part of your application that is able to be discoverable at the moment it is needed. Let's say that your application has a search functionalities, but a user doesn't want just to install the entire application so that he can be able to see that uh, search uh, functionality. So in that case, the user really needs the search functionality alone. So the app creeps are you know, the fast and right way so user can open them quickly and the, whenever they are ordering, maybe take out from the restaurant, renting a scooter and so on, or setting up new connected appliance for the first time and so on. So the user will be able to start and finish the experience from your app in seconds without just waiting for many time, many hours, many minutes, for example, I, I, I hope, I hope people don't wait just hours to download the app, but you get the idea that people will be able to use your, your app functionality in a very simple way. So now why, when the user are done with that small functionality, then you can uh, offer them the opportunity to download the entire full application from, from the Apple store. So, uh, um, and this feature is the same as uh, instant app from the Android devices, which is the feature that has been introduced for a while now. And uh, at the Mac uh, users, the iOS users has been waiting for this feature for so long time. And this is the philosophy of Mac and the Apple company, where they wait the feature for the Android, for the other companies to experiment. And once they feel confident about releasing the, the new features, then they release it out. So, so we have seen this feature in Android uh, as an instant application. Now it's coming to iOS with the app creep, uh, how they call it. Um, so as I have been explaining is that the part of app that you can offer to your client for to your users, it is streamlined. Um, so, and uh, after all, you can offer the user to download the full app after they have experienced the part or portion of the of your application. So uh, yeah, the way you can use this, you know, App creep can be through the NFC tag, can be through the QR code. Uh, so for example, for the user, 
that are on specific location can launch the application by uh, you know that app creep by scanning the code with the barcode reader or the camera app then they are ready to go um, and um, maybe it can be through ring you can send people a ring of that uh, app creep then they can be able to use that app creep um, so can be placed within a map or can be also um, uh, you know in messages you know so which gives a lot of flexibility for developers to you know launch the application and offer them in a different forms so that a user can be onboarded in very simple steps and um and uh, uh, I think this is a good feature and uh, we can see uh, what developers will be able to do with Flutter. And uh, me personally and my company, Yego Box, I strongly believe that um, the, the Flutter framework is going to take over the, the mobile development, uh, even the native uh, you know, development, because like I've seen teams that use uh, Android, uh you know java kotlin and and the team that use the 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 ios and they use swift but it tend to be so much expensive and um, and uh, the only reason people used to tend to use uh, two code base was that they wanted the performance and of course just have the quality you know application but what Flutter really is offering now is beyond that, you know. And uh, I have seen, uh, I have recently talked about the the launch of uh, the support of uh, desktop Windows machine of Flutter. And if you have seen the video, please check down in the description or somewhere above. Uh, you can see the link and go and watch it. And I think Flutter is going to be there very soon, as I have predicted. Um, thank you for watching my video. And if you feel like this has you know, done anything or have gave you the information uh, in one way or another, please subscribe to our channel. And we're trying to build the, the developer ecosystem uh, in Africa. So the ecosystem of developer for developers and how we are, we are still experimenting. So please subscribe and I hope very soon the video is going to be a little bit uh, good than what we have today. But somehow we need to, we needed to start this YouTube channel so that we can, you know, build that ecosystem and be connected with, uh, with developer across Africa and the world. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.